live at ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette, Indiana. The Ohio State Buckeyes live under the bright lights, but are the Purdue Boilermakers ready for prime time? We're about to find out as we welcome you to Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. And a week ago, Purdue buried Notre Dame, and now they will come out and see what they can do against the Ohio State Buckeyes. The crowd is ready here in West Lafayette. How about you? Settle in, folks. It's ESPN on ABC coming up. Interesting. Purdue wins the toss and wants the football here against this Ohio State defense. It's the matchup that we want to see. A beautiful booming kickoff. It will come out on the 20-yard line. And a very talented tight end. Almost intercepted. Let's meet the rest of this offense. And here's their five wide receiver, Dorian Bryant. Starting off with our starting quarterback, number 12, Curtis Painter. Hands the ball off to Corey Sheets, our explosive running back. Moving on to outside, the guy outside of me, a wide receiver, Greg Horton, the Moss Master. Onto our offensive line, Robbie Powell in the middle, paving the way for all of us little guys to run around. And second down and ten after the incompletion. Inside handoff now to Corey Sheets, his first carry. On the Buckeye defense, Vernon Golston playing again like an all-conference performer. All-American linebacker James Laranitis following up his great season of a year ago in a secondary that's led by lockdown corner Malcolm Jenkins. Thank you, Paul, and already Lauren Addison on his first stop of the night. Here, Purdue on third down. Caught for the first down. Working on the near side. Chiqua, the nickel man. Malcolm Jenkins frequently lines up at safety. He's number two. He's very talented. And the Boilermakers pound back with Corey Sheets. To be physical enough to be able to play safety. Here's Painter. Offensive line giving him time, and he snaps one to Orton. For he just passed for two first downs, and the right side of the offensive line, a false start on Zach Jones. False start, offense, number 61. That's a five-yard penalty. It remains first down. The bunch is on the left. Head! Looking for the solo man down right. He's going to throw this away. Marcus Freeman, remember that name. He's a fine linebacker for the Buckeyes. There he is, making the stop on cue and bringing back the entire defense from a year ago. Cameron Hayward, the fine freshman rush man, checks in for the Buckeyes. They throw in underneath, short of the first down. Get an opportunity, but with Lawrence Wilson's injury early, he's been pushed into action. So we're about to see the Buckeyes for the first time. This takes a boy to make a bounce, and it'll be down inside the 15-yard line. Chris Beattie Wells with the first carry. And Ohio State's offense is led by quarterback Todd Beckman, who's number one in the conference in passing efficiency. Tailback Chris Beanie Wells with four straight 100-yard rushing games. And on the offensive line, fifth-year senior and local media favorite, Kirk Barton. H-back look on the tight end and two wides. Play fake Beckman's first pass is for the first down. Robisky to the 27-yard line. On the 27, behind Todd, rolling hard to the right on the throw, complete, and eight yards. And After the play was over, dead ball, personal foul, offense, number 71. 15 yards in the second down. Ohio State now sets themselves back for second and 17. Going deep. Penalty flag, 15 yards and a first and 10. To an odd shift late. 
incomplete. Rabisky, the intended target. Starting lineup for the Purdue defense. Right next to me, you got Alex McGee, the real A train. For the linebackers, you got Josh Ferguson, aka Fergalicious from Florida. And for the DBs, you got Terrell Vincent, aka TV, trying to shut them boys down there. Jeannie explodes close to midfield, putting Maurice or Mo Wells in, and here he is. You can recognize him with the hairdo, folks. He crosses midfield, first down, breaks the daylight, and he's just short of the 30-yard line. Going deep and incomplete. Robisky being defended. On second and ten. Short of the first down. Caught at the 27-yard line. Big play for him. Torrey Williams checks into the secondary on this third down. End zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. Ray Small, the sophomore from Cleveland, working against Royce Adams. And I'm sure that replay will take a look to make sure that one foot is down and bounds. It looked like he got one and then maybe a second. No right? question. Yeah, he's one's down. The left foot is down. But you know, it. Oh, no. yeah, extra point is good. So Ryan Praetorius adds the extra point. Ohio straight strikes first. Passo with the ball on the tee, kick it off. He drives one out of the end zone. Back. There's a three down lineman look. Bring a linebacker. They hit Peter on the release. Corners pressing. Sheets going nowhere. And Freeman again. Hands. On third down. Terrific coverage that time. Back there with Hartline to return this punt. Not a good punt. Downed at the 41-yard line as Chris Beanie Wells checks back in behind Johnson. He's the tailback. So the ankle is retaped now. And he'll get a carry after coming off the bench. And he pounds behind the left side of that veteran offensive line. They faced all year. Jake Ballard in. Beckman with time. Robisky again for the first down. Breaks the tackle. And Beckman complete. Puts it in the hands of Small again. Great speed, and he is down at the eight-yard line. That Rory Nickel, Jake Ballard, both out there. The power eye. Johnson back at the fullback. And B. 19 of two freshmen checks in a wide receiver and Trussell spreads the field. Five for Beckman. Fires high, grab, touchdown. And this was Hartline, Brian Hartline. And that's the second touchdown pass of the night by Todd Beckman. Boy, is this Ohio State team making a statement here in the early going. Hartline. Victorious tacks on the extra point. Let's hear it for that offensive line against Tiller. Boone, Rary, Cordell. Person and Barton, no one's touched Beckman yet. The blackout right now is, the, it's kind of, it's been muted. <laughs> you think? Yeah, they need to do something. <laughs> they, to get, gotta, they need something to get them going again. They got to turn the lights back out here. Let's see if Dorian can do nothing. Oh, great coverage by the Buckeyes. Favorite on the road. You've got to keep the crowd in the game. A shot and going to daylight, but that was great coverage. Let's see how the Buckeyes cover the second one. 20 yard line, 25. Looks for a crease, gonna jitterbug. Well, they picked up some yardies. This is not the start that he envisioned, I'm sure. They're bringing the end around, and Ohio State's Freeman. Wow, what a good looking linebacker. Excited about this game, everyone in the community's excited, so it's been a challenge to keep them grounded. Looking for a first down here, and uh, 320 left here in the opening quarter. Violated that neutral zone, got the first 10 and more. And the linebacker Freeman back to help out 
defensively on that reception. So a 20-yard gain. They march into Ohio State territory at the 44-yard line. Dierking, the freshman's the running back. He'll get his first carry. No more than a couple. Just kicked a field goal. The Bruins lead it 3-0. And here, Peter rolling hard throws it out of bounds. Picked up this time and almost intercepted for the pick. Let's see if Armstrong can punt it better this time. Fair catch. Small slips down. Knee touch down just inside the 10-yard line. Beanie Wells, the Ohio State tailback. Straight ahead. Pops. He has looked very calm and cool for only his third road start in his career. Conservative call with a two touchdown lead, not wanting to risk an interception. Now he finally gets his opportunity. Hey! Going deep right side, battle for the ball. Robisky can't quite hang on. And he'll be able to play one on one on the outside against the Ohio State group of receivers. Tripped up. Rush three. Beckman in underneath, and no first down for Rory Nichols. Trying to give Bryant as many touches as possible. At the 23. Cannot escape the Gunners. Matt, and here, Peter and the Boilermakers trailing by two touchdowns. And not much doing. Time runs out on our opening quarter here as ESPN Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines will return after this message and word from our ABC station. Second down now for Painter and the Boilermakers as we start the second quarter. Backfield is empty. Hit on the release as the arm was coming forward. I think that'll be an incomplete pass. For Ohio State. Hayter rolls the pocket to the left. Fires and almost intercepted by Laurinaitis. Like a corner would close on it. Armstrong, busy tonight. At the 35 by Hartline. Fast starting Buckeye team. Beckman hands off to Mo to the 42-yard line. And sorry. Trevor Robinson is the lead fullback on this ISO play. And Maurice Wells squirts through. Small again. First down on that pass. Here tonight, leading by 14, Kurt. They're into Purdue territory again. And here is the youngster. Ray Small breaks to daylight to the 30-yard line. Bobby Shonoff, backup quarterback, signaling. The Boilermakers show pressure on this run, and this time they stop Maurice Wells. Puts four down. Try to hit the flanker screen. Well read by Terrell Vinson. The pressure off the corner. Beckman steps away from it. He will not run for the first down. Out of bounds. Toma the holder, a 44-yarder. Curled it. And it's 17-0. You're watching ESPN on ABC. Comes by it again. Football! Ohio State football. And Beckman incomplete. Draw play. And Wells picks up a four yards off to the right of the formation. Draw play and short of the first down. On the rope here and decides to go for it. Interesting call.
nothing doing. And that was Anthony Haygood, the converted running back. Me <laughs> in. Payback. First down and 10 here, 849. Buckeyes lead. Short of a first and 10. They'd... It was a good night to drink some beer and have some fun. 815 to go. First and 10 for the Boilermakers. <laughs> first down and 10. Here she now. There it is. I've seen the 45-yard line. Uh, count me in. Okay, second down. <laughs> and there is move with that kind of penalty flag. Prior to the snap, false start, offense number 61. But the five-yard penalty remains second down. Inside handoff, and that'll make it third down and long. Lyman and Bryant are to the left side of the formation on this third down. First and ten on a brilliant second effort. Keller three catches tonight and 39 yards. You swing it and uh, no gain on that play. Actually is seven going back to the end of last year. Second down and ten. Incomplete. Facing a third and ten. High caught, but short of the first down. They need to get to the 39-yard line. You can see the yellow line. Painter still back in that familiar shotgun for Joe Tiller. Fakes it, going to throw the screen. Incomplete Buckeye ball. First down and ten. Inside of five minutes for the Buckeyes. His first down passing again, and he slips free. You're giving it away. Oh, okay. <laughs> Second down, and uh, they bust uh, first down and ten. And uh, so, uh, just like. I think he's going to lead shout tonight. Uh, there may not be too many Purdue fans shouting unless they pick it up here a little bit. The crowd just hoping the defense can stop him here on third down. Todd Beckman, they're going to try to blitz him. He still stands tall. No first down. Terrific tackle by Vincent. Nailed this one. Into the end zone. It'll come out on the yard line. <laughs> 249 here. Greener sacked inside the 10 yard line after the pump fake. Larry Grant. Two minutes. Painter cranks it incomplete. And no one way to be good, but maybe a year away from really competing in the Big Ten, but they're making the statement. They're exciting, but and uh, Painter. Going deep and uh, incomplete. Because of the confusion that Ohio State is presenting, and also because of the speed in which they're playing with. Takes a Purdue bounce this time for Armstrong, and it'll roll down near the 35. So he was a pretty good defensive player. And uh, Moels, he's back on the field. All right, easy! To the 40 yard line, and you can hear the umpires. 17 0. There's the rush yard. That sack took away a few from Purdue, but still not good. And Robisky spins for the first down midfield. Backs have had a great year. I like to see the better teams advance for the National League. Turning back to the Rockies. Been unbelievable. And uh, Beckman was uh, in the grasp, and there's a penalty. This defense has picked it up here. Intentional grounding, number 17 offense. Lost the down at the spot of the five. Second down. But he has thrown deep here now this, this evening, I'll tell you that. Fumble the snap. Now it's a knee. And Beckman, yeah, there's no question now. <laughs> when they go to their locker rooms, but uh, what they do is they make sure that they don't meet up at about the uh, at the 20-yard line. They uh, they send the visiting team across first. And coming up at the Bud Light halftime report, John Saunders, Craig James, and Doug Flutie will have highlights from all the gut check Saturday's big games, including Florida LSU and a loss by another top five team. So stay tuned for the Bud Light Halftime Report with John Craig and Doug after this. So they will kick off here to start the second half and the Buckeyes will have the
the first possession. Ray Small is back deep, and this one will be downed and brought out to the 20 yard line. Huge series here to start the half. See how Purdue handles it. Chris Wells will get the first call here. And he battles his way. Second down and five. The Buckeyes offensive line has done very well in the teeth of heavy crowd noise tonight. Wells again for a first down. Breaks free and uh, he is out. To the Three wide on this first and ten. Great protection. Going deep to Rubisky. King was the defensive back right there. On that replay, looked like he might have picked on the it. The field is being reviewed. Run back and forth up in the booth. So he, this is the coverage that you're seeing. When he I'm rips the ball away from Rubisky and he has both feet inbounds. The only thing they could question is, did he rip it away and have possession clearly while his feet were down? They're fighting for the ball. He's got the ball. The foot is down. That looks like an interception. After review, the ruling on the field is reversed. Purdue number seven intercepted the ball. First down. <laughs> 72 yards against this defense. Now, Bryant hasn't had a catch tonight. And incomplete. Middle, got it complete. First and 10 to the 45-yard line. Bryant is slotted to the right of this formation, and they run Corey Sheets. He's got to be more precise if he can't overthrow it like he did in the first half. There's Bryant, his first catch of the night, and it's for negative yardage. They're coming. Painter is going to be sacked. At the 44-yard line, Anderson Russell. That we've seen since going back a few years with A.J. Hawk and company. These guys are bringing it tonight. Armstrong hangs it high. Hartline picks it up on the 18-yard line, and he is down at the 19. Change up by Todd Beckman, their quarterback. Now Purdue shows blitz. Now they're coming on the run. Wells breaks free. Steps out 11 yards and a first and 10. And I think the defense plays with a chip on their shoulder because of the way they played that night. Yeah, here's Wells again and Carter. They jump up to number four. Because it, Cal and USC play one another. Exactly. Battling toward that yellow line. Now they're playing and looking a lot like their national championship caliber teams over the last three or four years. Played in the NFL for a number of years. Small town has produced a lot of great athletes. Protection, snaps it high, what a grab at the 38-yard line by Robisky. Runner and a great, great athlete. 21 more yards, he got 64 in the night. Beckman going in zone, jump ball, pulled away by the Boilermakers, and that's David Pinder, their second interception. And folks, this one could have saved six for the Boilermakers. This defense here. Here's Stompin' and Snorton and Painter on first down goes far side incomplete. It'll be second down. Jordan Grimes is the right guard, 66, just getting down. They snap it off complete. Painter in trouble. Throws it incomplete. In his own end zone. Needs to get him out of trouble here. Small and Hartline are back deep. Here comes Hartline. Cuts the 35, daylight to the 29-yard line. And you net about 25 yards. Throws a strike to Small on first down. And he steps out of bounds. Hey. And Reese Wells. So it's third down and three hey. for the Bucks. They come at him, and they get to him. And they've had a lot of success with it, especially with Hager. 39-yarder for Praetorius, and it's good. So it's a 20-0 game. Boilermakers, though, are still in it if they can do anything against Jim Trussell's defense. Time remaining in the third, 7:43, And we'll see what Bryant can do from the 9-yard line. 
Slips the tackle, battles his way to the 25 yard. That guy's showing you why they are easily the number one defense in the big team. And Painter keeps it. And the last time they appeared in the Rose Bowl. Breaking free for a first down at the 39 yard line. And you know who that call for. Ball for big yards. That's huge. Yeah. Time. Bobbled. You're going to see in this, this nation. Short of the first downs. Bring up a third down. Virginia Tech over close. All right, Matt, and here. Intercepted, was it? Incomplete. Umpire right there. Ironhead Hayward is going to be a star. Armstrong again. No signal at the 10 yard line. <laughs> first down and 10 now, and uh, Beckman and the uh, Bucks are bottled up here, but he come up firing on first down. Incomplete. Here's Wells. Breaks one tackle, but could not break the second. He's available if they need to uh, spell Maurice Wells here. And there's a great look and counter play. Close to a first down, depending on where the spot is. I cannot say enough about this offensive line here tonight, although the Purdue defense was equal to that challenge. But 4 12, pressure coming by the Boilermakers. Beckman goes up over the top, incomplete. Matt Stayhawk, 49 seconds to go there, and everybody wants to know the outcome of this one. It's a fumble. Umpire waiting to signal. Russell's out saying yeah, it's an incomplete it's, pass. One of the officials says oh, fumble the football. Payment yep. stepped in there. I've asked officials about this all the time. When a quarterback's arm is coming forward and the ball slips from his hand, is that a fumble or is that an incompletion? And, and review, now they've got this. The ruling on the field is reversed. It's there an it is. Pass, fourth down. And I just said, 11 men on the field now. And pressure, they come after it. Here's Bryant, driven back by what a beautiful punt that is. Out of bounds. Love your Blackberry. Now <laughs> <laughs> you've been making fun of me. Now you love it. Oh, what a hit on Bryant that time. Matt Swimmers through the world of college football. Peter going deep, and he overthrew Bryant. He had him open that time. He had him right there, Kurt. You know, that's a good name for them tonight. The coach of the Stanford Cardinals. Gets it done. That's the one Wolverine they like. You're right. Right now they like it. It's Fader. Good point. He's their favorite Wolverine of up in his They're the back rankings. in the third period. They yeah. started the second half. They'll move up in the 17-13. We get word on that game. And that was so, a long way from being yeah, over. Exactly. Here's Small now cutting back over to the left. No flag. It'd be a matter of time until he and his young receivers got in the sink. Not today. Wells and now the so boots in Baton Rouge game. like I said that football game still has a lot of time left in LSU Prior to the snap false start offense number 63 LSU five yard can yard never underestimate remains. their ability first to come down. back first down and 15 complete and daylight hot line and a foot race to the 15 yard line. Boy, Hartline showed a pretty good burst there. Almost took it to the end zone. Here's Wells, and he is stopped at battling. Uh, keep your mouth shut. Don't do that. But hey, guess what? It worked. Uh, one for the ages tonight is uh, Wells for the Buckeyes. All they can to show the voters that they're a, a powerhouse this year. Is Wells and he's short of the first time. Jim Trussell and the Buckeyes in the mix for a shot at another national championship. And ESPN Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. They just scored another touchdown, by the way. The Gators just scored another one. That Blackberry is beautiful as Pretorius text on. <laughs> Imagine right now, down 23. The Buckeyes kicking it off, and it'll come out on the 20-yard line in the corner.
of the end zone. Coach, it just doesn't get any better than what we've just heard there. Incomplete, and again, another strong play by Donald Washington. Second down and 10. Painter drops it off to his running back, and uh, he's short. Now, on their travel agents in New Orleans, they're going to get wait. They're going to get. They're going to get real excited now. <laughs> Incomplete. To the embarrassment in the desert against Florida, they've lived with that for a long time, and that helps fuel their fire. Here's Hartline again. Cut to the right into a little bit of traffic there, didn't even down at the 49-yard uh, line. Buckeyes dominating Purdue in a battle of the Big Ten unbeatens tonight. Already Illinois has picked off the number five ranked team. Wisconsin did. Of course, have come up with three field goals to go along with that effort from the offense and defense. Beckman goes long. Robisky's covered and picked off. Coming up over the top is Torrey Williams, the senior from Texas. That's the third interception tonight. Which is good as a, a punt. Burying him inside the five. Complete. Keller again. He's been their best target tonight. Picking too much touch on the ball and letting the safety come over to make the play. Incomplete. And of course, up in Ann Arbor late in the year. Panthers in trouble. Incomplete. But he's not been in rhythm at all. Bucks rush three. Deception for a first and ten. This time, complete to Lyman again. And able to come back, remarkably so, and uh, play with the team this fall. Bounced, incomplete. This will be third down. Coming out in another week. On third down, complete for a first down at the 43. Have not been able to, uh, to recover. Blitz coming. And down, he is sacked by Anderson Russell. That's the second time that Anderson's got there tonight. Perhaps one of the most unheralded running yeah. backs in the country. He was tough today for Zook and the Illini. Painter and almost intercepted. Should have been picked off by Anderson Russell that time. And tonight, the, uh, the Fighting Irish battling for their lives on the West Coast against UCLA. Comes in underneath, complete to the 45-yard line. At this point. Hangs it up now and uh, small. He doesn't like that fair catch. Gonna see if he can find it. He's got great speed. And he is down at the 25 yard line. Just Arizona State and Florida, respectively. Arizona State beating Nebraska and Florida beating Tennessee. And of course, uh, still to be determined. Ends up beating LSU and Ohio State will move to number two in the country. Let's check in down below. Okay, now we see Brandon Sane, who I told you was here. And this is his series now on third down. Very talented freshman. Great speed. Look out if he gets an alley. At the 40 for a first down. Great running back there. You don't remember those guys. <laughs> it's first down at 10. That's when they planted those trees that those, those boys were up phone here. Yeah, exactly. Zach <laughs> Felica on that phone. Dial it up. You got him on speed dial. Yeah. He'll know immediately who has the longest win streak with the Penguins. I should have saved that trivia for when we go to Columbus. I mean, we'll probably be going there for a game the way these guys look. All right, took a snap. Yeah. False start. Could be on our way. Number 86. My buddy. Five yard penalty wow. remains. Third down. So Beckwin and the lads are going to take a scout back to Columbus with them, and uh, and then uh, you know players and fans, coaches will probably go to work college, and then they host USC. And you know when you think about it, Kurt, this really is two subpar performances in a row for USC. If you're listening to me up above, how about two bad centuries? Come on, first down and ten now. And uh, let, let's check the. I think is, is going to hold the key there. His development in the next few weeks will be very significant. And uh, Trestle's had their number here the last few years. You're going to Ann Arbor now, and that's never easy. 
Knocked away and incomplete. What a job by this defense, and that is Marcus Freeman. A lot of that tonight. They've been rushing three down linemen, playing three linebackers in a nickel look, but they've been creative with how they've gotten pressure tonight on Curtis Painter. Here's Hartline, and uh, he's going to take it out of bounds at the 35-yard on championship game. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. <laughs> it's only fitting for the year that we've had so far. It's crazy, isn't it? Higher schedule unscathed. The same. Back in as the running back and Robbie Schoenhoff, the backup quarterback. You know, I said Cal is going to help you have a hard time navigating. I think Cal's a great team. I just think they have a tough schedule. Short of the first down, and uh, there you are. Cincinnati, St. X, Cole Reigns, great teams. So when, you know, when you say to Trussell, how come you missed on this guy? It's just one stunning game after another this year. Yeah, when I see these two teams, he's no. thinking a short pass and a, right. a run, and Frenzel goes for it all. Fourth down. And your reaction summed up was, the entire reaction. With the Buckeyes. They held on year, for dear yeah. life. Every seemed like every week in the yeah. regular season. They've given us, they've given us great thrills. Uh, I, I'll never forget. Uh, for Might have been the game that Jim Harbaugh guaranteed a victory. It could have been. Now that you think about it. <laughs> There's always something that, that you want if you're a defensive coach or player. Lyman drops the ball. Of Ohio State. Incomplete. Yeah. It's nice to spread the wealth a little bit. You off to NASCAR to tonight or tomorrow? No, down there. You're going to try to interview them, and they've been watching the NFL. All <laughs> these big dishes. It's towards 1 o'clock, and the Boilermakers trying to get on the board. Shut out or not? Final minute now. Let's see if the defense can get it. Grabbed at the two-yard line by Greg Orton. Throwing for it, Kirk. Deflected. Incomplete. Back a down in goal. The freshman Dirkin, he's the running back. To the end zone, battling away for the touchdown. Let's see, it still hasn't been signaled yet. You know who was in the middle of it was Hayward. Look at where they spot it. Hayward. Here we go now. Painter's going to throw. Touchdown. Watermakers make sure that they score this time. And Curtis Painter. And there we see now with Chris Summers tacking on the extra point. So with 10 seconds to go, Boilermakers prevent a shutout. Summers to kick off. You can figure this out, huh? Here's the onside kick down. And the end of the binocular, they hold the elevator for only. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot right. we got to do a news hit for the yeah, boys. Right. Don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Going live. <laughs> news. Oh, mercy. So, congratulations to Jim Trussell and Ohio State. And, uh, and Joe's over there telling him what a good team that is. No question about that. Go to 6 and 0. Oh.